Have you run into an issue where you have taken a photo on your mirrorless camera and you've got a raw file or maybe even a really big JPEG? You put it onto your computer, I'm using Windows. Some of you might be on Apple's OS, doesn't matter. You take it into the normal image opening, whatever it may be. In my situation, it's the Windows Photos app. I had to download an extension just to open some of the raws. And even still, like you're going through them and it's just like super slow. I'm here today to introduce to you a fix for all of it and something super handy too. Let's get into it. You are locked into Kiss where I cut all of my usual waffle and I keep it simple. So I'm gonna make this super, super quick. What you need to do is go onto your browser and type in fast stone. I apologize to all of my Apple users. I do not have a fix for you. I just remembered Fastone does not have an option for all of this. However, you can still use Adobe Bridge uh, and stuff like that to maybe view your photos, that might help. I apologize if you made it this far. Anyway, my Windows people, let's go. Once you've typed in Fastone, make sure you go and click on their website. Once you're on their website, it's pretty easy to navigate. You can go straight to download, but what you wanna do is find Fastone Image Viewer. They'll have updates from time to time. Just make sure you get the latest one and go from there. Once you have it downloaded, super easy to use, and I'll show you now. Right click on one of your raw files, go down to uh, Open With, uh, go to Choose Another App, Find Fastone, but before clicking it and pressing OK, click on always use this app to open ARW files or RAW files if you're shooting any other camera. I'm with Sony, that's why it's ARW. Once you do that, it will always kind of open it out in full screen mode and you'll have uh, basically a breakdown of all of your images, which is uh, super nice. Now, I personally, this isn't gonna go super fast for me because I've made my raw resolution really high or the highest it can be. So mine does take a little bit longer to load, but it doesn't take nearly as long as what the photos app did because i'm predominantly using a 60 megapixel camera i want to just make sure that i'm seeing everything in full resolution because with that if you miss focus then it hits you hard so yeah you've got the option of uh, really quickly maneuvering the photo you can easily just kind of zoom in and as i mentioned this is still preview quality so you will get a lot better out of it once you're in lightroom photoshop and using the photo in in a proper editing software now the beauty of this app is that you can access your exif data really 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 quickly so all you do is once you're in full screen this is the way that i like to do it i just like to hover over to the right of the screen now what you will see is all the information that comes along with it where it's located uh, what type of file it is what the size is the date the print size i mean i wouldn't look too much at that but what's really important for me is my uh, shutter speed my aperture my exposure, my ISO, uh, and also my focal range. I can sometimes, if someone maybe puts a photo up, like you see these photos on the wall, I'm not gonna lie. I got them taken before I was a photographer and they sent me over the images. I'm not happy with what they did and how they shot them. I would have never been able to find out that information if I didn't have fast stone image viewer. So it just gives you a little bit more information behind the process. You won't of course get this information if you download a photo off of the internet that doesn't have any EXIF data that comes with it. If you download it off of Facebook, it won't come with it. But if you go to somewhere like Flickr where you upload the photo with the EXIF data, then you're able to, and you've got access to download it, then you're able to take it and it will give you that EXIF data. Inside the app, of course, you can crop, you can crop, you can change the resolution size you can uh, uh, rotate you can screenshot you can add text you can you can do quite a bit with it if I'm honest but predominantly I will use this just before uh, taking into taking any photos into Lightroom it just speeds up the flow with Lightroom you have to build previews and so forth and going through this you can quickly just color them all out and um, you know once you're done you can import the ones into Lightroom that you want to keep and, and just go from there. Once you're done, I use them with JPEGs too. You can put slideshows on, you can do all sorts with it. So uh, yeah, if this video potentially has sped up your workflow, join me, join my subscribers. We would all love to have you. If you've got any questions, then make sure you hit me up in the comments. You've made it this far. You're already down there, hit the like button too. And I'll see you on my next upload. Peace.